Inspector Katie Andrews, can you tell me um, you have news for the community regarding last weekend's protest on Peter Street? Yes, I want to make it very clear that last week we gave out warnings, but in consultation with Chief Wood and Chief Van de Graaff, we are going to be following those their lead and we are going to be laying charges under the EMCPA, the Emergency Management Civil Protection Act, and those charges can range $770 for failing to abide by an order with a surcharge of 130 and there's also uh, higher fines for obstructing anybody and doing their job. Tell me about um also parades you were mentioning? I want the community to know that I understand it's a very difficult time. I have grandchildren, I'm missing their birthday parties. And I want you to know that it's, parades are included in that. You are not able to have drive-by parades and you can and will be charged under the EMCPA. No charges were laid last week, just warnings? Correct, just warnings last week. But now it's sort of, well, we've been educating for over a year now, and it's time, we're in our third wave of COVID, and it's time to take action. You'll be calling, there'll be extra members? Yes, we'll have people in on overtime, and the municipality is aware and support our decisions moving forward. If I can ask a little bit about how is the, because it's been, I believe, roughly a week, how has the Ganny been now that uh, it's sort of blocked off, if I can say that? Uh, is everybody abiding by that or is it an educational approach or how is that going? No, the Ganny was closed. We made that decision last week in consultation with the fire chief and our municipality partners. And we will also enforce the trespass as we did last year or again under the EMCPA. Talk a little bit about how we're all in this together. It's not its not something that you folks, I take it, it's not something that you want to do, but this is the time. Well, like I said, we are in this together. And if we don't stick together as a community, as, as the province, we're, how will we get through it? Like I said, it's very difficult times. And I know people want this to end, but let's just stay at home and hope that it'll end.